everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new release DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch scale Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Lex Luthor figure from Mattel. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we see with all the DC Comic Multiverse figures. You've got the red box with the black highlights. Up at the top corner you have the Batman vs. Superman logo since this is a movie figure. Then you have the DC Comics Multiverse logo. The figure is clearly displayed in the window box packaging. And then down below you have an image of the character in the name. And it also tells us it comes with a Collect and Connect Grapple Blaster replica piece. On the side of the packaging you again have an image of the character and a brief bio. And then on the back of the packaging, we get a look at that grapple gun, as well as all the figures you need to get in order to complete the pieces for the gun. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now, the only accessory this thing comes with is the grapple gun collect and connect piece. Now, I actually made the mistake of snapping this together with the piece that came with the back creature, which we looked at the other day, and I wasn't able to get it pulled apart. So this is actually two pieces of the grapple gun and I'll finish assembling this at the end of the video and show you the completed grapple gun. But this back piece here is the one that actually comes with Lex Luthor. Okay, so for the figure itself, so first of all, I've got to say that Lex Luthor was my least favorite thing about the movie. I just did not think Jesse Eisenberg made a good Lex Luthor and really kind of, like I said, was one of the worst things about the movie in my opinion. As for the figure itself, I think Mattel's done an okay job with it. The face likeness isn't that great, so I think they definitely kind of missed the mark on capturing the actor's likeness with the actual final figure. The hair's not bad. I think the hair sculpted pretty good and it's done with a brown color. Looks like there's maybe a little shade in there because I see some uh, lighter browns and darker browns in there so that looks pretty good the overall uh, skin tone is decent the eyes look pretty decent you know they're not cross-eyed or anything I do like the fact that they've given him green eyes since Lex Luthor is known for having green eyes I do have a little bit of a paint nick here a little red paint or something here on his chin he's wearing a sport jacket it looks like and the jacket part is done with that kind of vinyl material it's a separate piece from the figure it is glued on looks here up at the shoulders but it's uh, you can kind of pull it back a bit so you can see the t-shirt he's wearing underneath and the sleeves of the coat are sculpted on there and then this t-shirt you can see is half tucked so it's kind of you know coming out over the belt and you do have a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit of paint sloppiness here where the shirt meets the pants but it's not that major and then he's got the belt you can see here where the shirts tucked in the belts just black he's got the silver belt buckle and you can see the little uh, blue uh, belt loops for the pants and then the pants are done with this kind of almost bluish green color and it looks like he's just wearing some slacks and then he's got the tennis shoes on like how the laces are sculpted on the shoes and then he's just got these kind of flat bottoms you can see if you look kind of underneath the pants the pants are kind of sculpted up over the shoe and you can see the hinge joint inside and the hinge joint is unpainted it's not that major of a deal because you really can't see it unless you look up close but that hinge joint is unpainted so it doesn't look it's painted the color of the shoe and not the not the pants so the figure stands just a little bit over six inches tall. Here he is with the variant massless Batman figure and the Superman figure and you can see he is the shortest of the bunch. The articulation on this figure is pretty much the same as we've seen with the other figures in this line. You can turn the head to the left and the right. There's no up or down movement with the head. You can get the arm all the way out. Attached with a ball hinge joint at there at the shoulder. You've got good rotation. He has a bicep swivel, single hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow about that much. Then you've got the swivels on the wrists so you can turn them but no hinges. You've got this ab crunch joint though. He doesn't really crunch down very much. You can look back a little bit. And then he does have a waist swivel or at least I'm told. I cannot get mine to turn at all. You can see this little crease line here where the uh, waist meets the shirt but for whatever reason and I've tried taking a hair dryer to it hot water and I've not been able to get that waist joint to turn but I am told that he is supposed to have a waist turn and you can see it so I just I don't know I don't know what's up with my figure but he won't turn at the waist anyway you've got the side hinges like we always see with the DC figures from Mattel and you can do the splits good you can get the leg forward good 
and you can do the leg back pretty good. He does have a thigh swivel. He's got a single hinged knee, so he can bend his knee about that much. And then he's got the hinges on the feet, so he's got a little bit of back and forth movement, but no swivel and no ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of his okay, feet. So now we'll assemble the grapple gun collect and connect replica. And you need eight figures in order to complete this. You need the Batman, the Superman, the Wonder Woman, the Armored Batman, the Lex Luthor, the Nightmare Batman, Bat Creature, and Aquaman. And once you have the those, then you can assemble this and it seems to be pretty uh, easy to assemble so as I mentioned before these are two pieces they connect right here in the middle and you just click them into place just be wary once you do that um, you're probably not going to be able to get it unattached I wasn't able to get mine so but these are two pieces this comes with the back creature this front piece and this back piece comes with Lex Luthor so once you snap those into place next you can uh, take the handle and you can fit it into this little uh, stand this is the first time I'm actually assembling this because I didn't want to put it together and not be able to take it apart, so. Oh, I'm doing it backwards is why. You want to make sure that the peg uh, hole matches up with the peg here, so. So it should snap into place once you do it the right way. And then, uh, let's see, then we can take this piece here and snap it into the bottom here. And then the snaps in the back. And then this is just a, a extra stand piece. And then you can take this little piece and plug it into the side. And this is for holding your, your grapple hooks. These came with the Aquaman figure, so you get two of them. And you can just slide them in. Now, if you got the variant figures, if you got the maskless variant and the red-eyed heat vision Superman, then you get these extra grapple pieces and they attach to the front here on this bottom part of the barrel. There's the hole. I thought originally they went in here, but, but they go in this bottom part and so you just plug them in. And so you've got one that looks like is shooting, like air shooting. So you've got this translucent plastic. It's the one that came with the Superman with the heat vision. And then you've got one that looks like it's just the cord shooting out. And this is the one that came with Batman. Now these don't fold in on this one, just on, on the extra ones that, you, that came with the Aquaman figure. The gun is very light. It's just uh, hollowed out plastic mostly, uh, done with silver, metallic silver with some black wash on the silver parts. And then you've got this wood paneling on the back for the handle. The trigger doesn't work. It doesn't actually shoot any kind of darts or anything. This thing measures about, let's see, about nine inches in width and then about under seven inches in height. Now one thing note here on this extra stand piece, it's actually you uh, can attach it so it clips into place with the back stand. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that technically is how you're supposed to do it. But then you're kind of stuck with the piece. You can't move that plastic piece off if you do that. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, the figure, you know, it's not great. The likeness isn't that great to the actor. And I wasn't a huge fan of the character to begin with, so you know I can only say this figure is is okay. But if you've been collecting the line, I mean Lex obviously is one of the main villains in the movie, so you probably will want to still pick it up if you're collecting all the other figures in the line. Also, you'll need it if you want to complete the grapple gun. So this is hitting shelves now at places like Target stores. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There'll be a link in the description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.